Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm just going to be doing a reptile supplies haul. I do have some vlog footage from the Reptile Expo, which I will put right here. I feel like I don't really have a lot. I haven't even looked at it yet, but whatever's there, I will put right here. We're at the Expo now. I have a bunch of quarters I'm trying to get rid of, so <laughs> I'm paying my entrance fee in all quarters. <laughs> It just got really dark. Holy <laughs> crap. Where is the light? Where is the sun? <laughs> there it is. Hello, everyone. Um, so, we are at the Reptile Expo. Wait, it's this way. R wrong. No, this way. <laughs> so, we're at the Reptile Expo. I'm with Emma and Tori right now. Everyone else. Yes, we have matching shirts. Everyone else drove separately, though. So, they. I don't think they're here yet. So. Um, Everyone else will be here soon. Oh, there they are. Hello, everyone. vlog a lot at the Reptile Expo and I didn't want to make a whole Reptile Expo vlog just because I feel like I've done a lot of Reptile Expo vlogs and they all just kind of turn out the same and I didn't know if you guys were like sick of them. Let me know if you guys enjoy Reptile Expo vlogs because I'll totally do them more often because I do go to Reptile Expos like every single month. It's just that I don't know if you guys like seeing that stuff so uh, let me know. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I buy from the expo because typically when I go to the expo, I mainly go there to get reptile supplies as opposed to actually going there to look at reptiles or to buy reptiles because they have a huge selection of supplies. So I'm just gonna be doing a haul of all the supplies I got at the expo. And I also have some supplies that I got from previous expos and other random places that I just wanted to throw in here as well just cause I have them and I thought I would show you guys some of the other supplies I have accumulated and not used yet. So let's just get straight into the haul. I'm gonna start off with the stuff from the expo. Starting off with the basics, I got a Zoomed Corner water bowl. I got this for my red tail boa because she needed a bigger water bowl and I thought it would be cool to have a corner one just so it takes up a little bit less space because right now she has one that's a little bit smaller than this and it's just like in the front of her enclosure so I thought I would just give this to her and see if she likes it. She never really tries to soak in the water dish but I thought it would be good to have a bigger one just to make the humidity a little bit bigger and if she wants to try to soak in it she'll have more space to do so. So yeah, we got the Reptorock Corner Bowl by the Zoomed. It's $23. Looks like, it looks like there's a dead spider stuck to the inside of it. So meet my new pet as well, my new pet spider. He's dead. Next, I got this hide. It is from Pangea. Pangea is actually located in Michigan. Not Pangea as in the continent, but Pangea as in the company that makes gecko products and breeds geckos. They are actually located in Michigan and they go to my expo. So I usually get most of my supplies from them and they make these really awesome hides. I think they sell them online as well and they come in all different sizes, but I love them because they're just these black plastic hides. They're pretty cheap, but they get the job done because it's like pretty much like a cave hide and it just has a small opening in the front and it's perfect for like anything. It's perfect for a snake, perfect for a gecko, whatever you got that needs to hide, 
This is just the basic. It might not be the prettiest thing ever if you want a naturalistic looking enclosure, but it's just a cheap, good hide. So I got this. Not really sure what I got it for. I, I'm going to give it to one of my snakes, but I just thought I could use another hide because snakes can never use enough hides, you know? They just like to hide. We got a hide, and this was only $7. So, what a steal, am I right? Next up, I got some Pangea Gecko Diet. I got the flavor Apricot, and this was $18. And I have a lot of Pangea, to be honest. Um, I'm literally surrounded by it. I have this one right over here, too. This is the Banana Papaya Gecko Food, and then I have multiple bags of the Plum one. Do I have any other ones? This is, oh, it's not plum. I'm stupid. It's fig and insects. I have a bunch of fig and insect bags. I just like to have a variety of different flavors of Pangea so that I can mix it up for my geckos so they're not always getting the same thing. With any reptile, any animal that is, they're never eating the same thing in the wild. So even when you're keeping them as a pet, I think it's very beneficial to give them a variety for their diet. So. I don't like to just stick to one Pangea. I like to switch it up so that every time I feed them, I can give them a new flavor. So yeah, I, I usually, whenever I go to the expo, I try to just pick up a new flavor of Pangea that I don't have already. So this time I got the apricot. What else do we have? I got this ultimate magnetic gecko feeding ledge. Um, it was $25. And yeah, it's, I feel like it's kind of pricey for just a punk of plastic with some magnets, but whatever. <laughs> I wanted this ledge because previously I had bought one of those really cheap, just clear plastic ledges and it got really disgusting and it just doesn't look good. It's just a piece of clear plastic. So I wanted to get a ledge that actually kind of looks like rock you know, more naturalistic looking. It's just a gecko ledge. I'm gonna put my Pangea in here. I'm gonna give them a little water dish in here and they're gonna freaking like it, I hope. So that's all the stuff that I got from this expo. However, I have other things that I've gotten from previous expos and other random places. So let's just start showing some of those. Starting off with this. This is a piece of wood. And the reason why I bought this was because it caught my eye. It was a really good piece of wood. And I think I bought two of them. How many? Three? I bought three of these. They're all slightly different, but it's like the same idea, just like a piece of wood, you know? So the other two that I have are actually in both of my Crested Gecko enclosures. This one is a bit longer than my other ones. My other ones only go to like here. So I have no use for this as of right now. This has been sitting in my closet for months now. I just haven't had a use for it, but I just like, whenever I see things at expos that are like really cool, even if I don't have a use for it right now, I like to get it in case I have a use for it in the future. I feel like that's a very hoarder mentality to have. And some people like to say that I hoard animals, but the reality is I more so hoard animal supplies. You should see how many bags of bedding I have in my closet. I have cork wood. I have just so much stuff. I could honestly like support my animals off of the supplies I have right now for a long time. I've spent a solid couple minutes talking about this piece of wood and nobody cares. I get really excited about simple things, okay? Like this piece of wood. I think I got this from the Sin City Reptile Expo in Cincinnati. So yeah, Cincinnati Reptile Expo. Thank you for your wood. Next thing I got, which I think I actually got this on eBay, but I got a stack of egg flats and I just got this because I have a colony of dubia roaches and they live inside of egg flats and it gets really disgusting so I have to change them out every so often so you can never have enough egg flats. So yeah, egg flats. Good times. Wow. Exciting. Next up, I got this vine. It's basically just a fake pothos. I think I just ordered this on Chewy and it actually looks like really nice. Some plants look really fake and garbagey. Garbagey. Wow. Like, let me see. This is a bad example because it's such a small fake plant. 
But this is an example of one that like doesn't look very good. It's very plasticky looking. It might not even look that bad on camera. This isn't the worst fake plant I have. By the way, while I'm in my cockroach enclosure, say hello to Attack and Protect and also a couple of their babies because they have been reproducing. Haven't shown them in a while, so I just thought I would show you guys Attack and Protect while I was in their enclosure. But anyways, you get the point. I just realized there are a lot of baby roaches in the wood here, so I'm just gonna put them away so that none of them like jump off and run into the crevices of my home. You get the point. There are some fake plants that just look terrible. They look like shiny and plasticky, and they just don't look good. So I was happy with this because it looks kind of like good. It just looks like a quality fake plant. From a distance, you might think it's real. Just don't get too close to it. Otherwise, you'll be disappointed. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? And while we're on the topic of fake plants, I also got this one, which is significantly better than the one I just showed you. I got this from Michaels. Life hack. Buy fake plants from Michaels. This is like a pretty long piece. I think it was like 20 bucks, but I used a 50% off coupon, so it was like 10 bucks. And like, it looks really good. I don't know, for some reason, a lot of the fake plants marketed towards reptiles just look terrible. So get fake plants from Michaels and it's cheaper and better quality. Is that everything? I think that's pretty much everything that I have to show you guys today. Yeah, I think that's it. Wow. So yeah, that's basically it for today's reptile supplies haul. Let me know if you guys like to see hauls like this. I go out and buy supplies for my animals all the time. So if you guys want me to film hauls like this, I can totally do that. You know, like whatever you guys want to see, just let me know. So yeah, that's it for today's video. If you guys like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe to my vlog channel if you want to see some quality non-animal content every few weeks because I'm not super consistent there, but I am consistent here. So subscribe, uh, follow me on all my social media because there is a lot of quality content on my Instagram and my Twitter, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I just post a lot of like, whenever my animals are doing something silly, I just post it to my Instagram and my Twitter. So just like, check that out. I don't know, you won't be disappointed. I can promise you that. So follow me on all my other social medias if you just wanna keep up to date with my daily shenanigans. And yeah, other than that, I guess that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And say goodbye. I usually tell you guys to say goodbye to someone, but I don't really have anyone. Say goodbye to Protec. Attack left the wood, but Protec is still here. So say goodbye to Protec.